Hello everyone and welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. Today I have an unbagging video for you guys of some products sent to me for review from DP Clubs. Um, we've got a bit of a theme going on here guys today so I bet you're guessing what it is. Yes. Um, you can tell by the intro. Uh, anyway, these products were sent to me uh, free for review and to show you guys what they've got on the website. So check out the website. Uh, information will be in that description box down below somewhere for you guys uh, links to the products uh, website and your discount codes and all that fun stuff in there will be for you so check all that out uh, in the meantime i have another video coming up very soon on some more products coming from dp club so hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when i upload next and you won't miss any videos okay on with the unboxing let's get this started now I've got three products here, uh, all a bit different shapes and sizes. Now, where am I? There I am. Ah, I'm doing everything upside down today. So I hope that's not putting everyone off, but I just thought I'd try it this way uh, for the lighting and everything and hope that you can see all the products really well. That's the main, main idea. So I've got one, two, three. Now this one here has its more uh, recognizable shape. So I'm gonna pop that to the side actually for the moment. I have this one here is also just a slightly different to our normal uh, diamond painting size and shapes. But I also have one of these, uh, another one of these awesome little pendants that they've been getting around on a lot of the websites. But so I found this one on the DP Clubs website. I thought this would be awesome to get. These boxes are pretty much generic. You get this for all of them. But what's different is, of course, your little uh, thumbnail in the corner. Unfortunately, this one has got a big sticker on. On it so i can't really show much of it but i will get into the box straight away and you can see uh what i have got for you guys to check out now these boxes i found are quite uh firm good solid little box now not all of the products come in boxes of course and i think that's you know the idea of some of these packaging is so that they're soft and they can handle the uh trip in the post basically a lot easier but this one is a nice sturdy box so it's going to be okay Ooh. lots of the good things in here let's empty out the box because that's always fun shake shaker so there we are that's what i'm looking at as a pendant but not this particular design uh running out of spaces the good things there we go all right now i've got quite a bit of stuff here so we're going to get a bit closer and check it all out a little bit of adjusting going on there guys um sorry about that i just wanted to sort of get into a really good spot for you to be able to see nice and clear everything that came out of the box before i get sort of sorting through it now i have this is your standard uh, little toolkit i have some baggies in there so that is <laughs> i don't know where to put my thumbs uh, that's awesome but yeah everything you will need to be able to do a time painting project is definitely there I have some beautiful drills. These are your rhinestone drills. So we've got that going on. We have another little bag of chains and bits and pieces, which we'll get into that a bit as well. Um, a lot of loose little, oh wow, this one's got different colored stars in this bobble. We'll go through these a little bit closer too, but you can see some beautiful um, acrylics in there and some similar sort of shapes going on in that so that's all my loose little dangly bits and voila look at this this is the actual pendant that you drill and as you can see by the the, the theme we're going with today is going to be christmas because it is literally knocking on my door every day amazon go away no <laughs> i'm joking um lots and lots and lots of things happening around this time of year and there is lots and lots and lots of great christmas styled projects to get off the websites at the moment so i thought i'd bring a couple to the channel and you guys can check them out and hopefully fingers crossed you get a fingers crossed um you get a chance to see this and if you would like to purchase it you get them in time for christmas um but there's always next year there's always next year uh this is a christmas tree as you can see it is covered completely with uh, little rhinestones pretty much it looks to be some big ones with this love number 11 is some baubles some special drills there and it's got a little 12 here and there as well so there's some small slightly smaller baubles in there to decorate it i'll just bring that up a bit closer so you can see the drilling field is really nice and clear 
I can't see any faults from that, although even I haven't got my eyes on properly yet. Now you can see beautiful numbers, clear as a bell on this thing, some gorgeous colours in the design. It's really cute. We've got this little penguin guy, look at his little hat and scarf on. We've got a puppy dog coming out of the gift. Now that would be a perfect gift. I would love a puppy dog. That'd be so so gorgeous. Um, you got gingerbread man in there and lots of other little um, stockings and so forth and baubles all through this tree. Oh, what are we doing? We're going to do a little bit of fuzziness. That's okay. I can get that back. And of course, the beautiful star on top of the tree. And you can see there's got this little 13 and that is a star shape. So that will be a special drill star as well. So there we go. This is the pendant part that you drill. Uh, loving the colours are nice and bright, which is awesome because you want nice and bright and festive for this time of year. Uh, it's not the hugest thing on the planet, as you can sort of, oops, sort of tell. Like that's that's a hand. I haven't got measuring tapes handy, but you know that could just give you a bit of an idea. I have got big hands either. I'm, you know, that's just me. But yeah, it gives you a little bit of an idea what you're looking at. That's the, um, what is it, the acrylic sort of stuff that we have these type of pendants. You sort of see the thickness there of it. Gives you a bit of an idea. Now you may have already had some of these, so you get a bit of, bit more of, when you've had something like this, you know what I'm talking about and you get the sort of feel, you know that sort of stuff I'm talking about, this resiny sort of plastic. Um, single sided, so we don't have to drill that side, we're only drilling this side for decoration. Down the bottom, you'll see there's some holes here. That is where I'm going to attach the, the, the sun catcher or the little beads and things like that. So we're going to be attached to there. And um, on the, oops, there we are. Let's have a look. On these sides here is where I'm going to uh, attach the chain. So then it's going to hang up and over the top here. Okay. So this is another one that's going to have to come back, I think, and get done very soon. I think it's going to be a really lovely piece. But we'll have a look at all the other things that come in this pendant kit. As I said, I will add the links to these products down in the description box for you guys. So if you're interested in that. There is other designs in these pendants too on the DP Class website. So, and there's, you know, Christmas related ones. And there's a lot of other ones that aren't Christmas related. So if you like the idea or the concept of these pendants, um, yeah, you can get, you know, non-Christmas style ones as well. And other Christmas ones. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? There's little stars and all sorts of stuff coming out of my hand. Wow. Just going to bring up that really close. Now, I found a little star, which is this thing here. Has, so I'm hoping that's all good. So I've got one of these little star bauble things that hangs off the center of the pendant. Got all beautiful colours, stars in there. I have two of these. Hang on, I'm going to have to put this stuff down, I think. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. So two of these little, um, these are just acrylics. And they've got a little bit of coating on them in the AB sort of style. I'm trying to get them to go both face the same way. But, you know, we don't really want to. <laughs> So there you go, there's two of those, and they hang on either side of your little ball I showed you just a moment ago. I have one of these star beads, and you thread that straight through. There's a hole in here somewhere, there he is. And they go sort of in the center of the design. And then I have all these little um, acrylic colored beads as well, that hang, that I thread on and hang, and not lose. I got it. It's okay. It's back. <laughs> it's just straight off the table. Ah, uh, what can you do? Now I've got these uh, really beautiful colours. They've got like a facet to them. They're nice and shiny, nice and bright. So I think they're going to be gorgeous. I am going to put them in the bag before I lose any more. Although I don't think I'll lose them. But I'm going to pop them all in the bag. But that's a nice close look at those things there. Um, the other components are these chains and rings i won't go into it too much if you've seen these being unboxed on the channel before 
but I have a beautiful chain. It's quite a long chain too. And it has these little ends. And they just attach to those, uh, you know, the little, little side bits there of the tree. Then you have, uh, in here, you have these ball chains and stuff like that. And that's what you actually thread all the little beads and bits and pieces. And you use these to connect it all together. This one doesn't seem to have the instructions. I did get in one of my other kits, so that's all right. But you, you sort of figure it all out. Um, how they clasp on, but I can definitely uh, do one of these and give you some more ideas on how to put them all together soon, hopefully soon, soon, soon. Now you've got these little clasps in there as well as the rings and they help attach your, the little uh, like pendant type things on the bottom of your beads. But anyway, yeah, uh, I'll show you how they sort of go together best I can in a video soon i'll put this together and you'll see it'll come into its own now i have some drills as well so i'm going to go through these with you as, and see what i've got obviously some really nice rhinestones etc now i've got just this blue packaging ah, try not to rattle too much now, where is the end? Now, there's a couple of loose bags. I was expecting that. Uh, one. So I've got one to ten here. It's stiff. So one to ten. And I have some ABs. Wow, that's a good start. It's a bit crinkly, this paper, so I'm just trying to keep it flat so you can see. I've got some uh, yellow ABs. I've got some beautiful Christmas red um, rhinestones. Some silver. Some gold. Some beautiful green. It's a real Christmassy green, that one, isn't it? Beautiful. I've got another... Well, actually, that's probably nearly, that's more of an emerald green. This is probably more the Christmas green, but... And then I've got a peridot green. So I've got a few shades of green, which will help make that tree really come, come to life. I just can't think of anything better to say. Uh, <laughs> I have a black there with the silver backing and sort of a light, nearly plum colour and a very pale blue as well. So that is 10 rhinestones and ABs. Also in this kit, I have some of the beautiful red domes. So a few of those, they will be the baubles. I have also some little white ABs, so they will be other little baubles in the tree. And I have a star, and that goes on top of the tree. So I've got one little yellow star so that's pretty groovy. Just get, no, there's two, sorry. There's two in the pack, so you can get a choice. There we go, sorry, it's up, it's up, stuck up the top. But yeah, there's actually two in the kit. So that's good because if one does get lost or broken or something, um, it's handy to have the other one. So there we go. That is essentially that little pendant kit. It's quite groovy. So I have 13 colors in total. I think it's gonna be a very fun, festive sort of uh, piece and you could hang that up in your Christmas tree you can just hang it on the door in place of a wreath or something like that if you wanted to or you could give it as a Christmas gift so there is lots and lots of options uh, for you for what you could do or just keep it for yourself yeah <laughs> um, you know and just decorate the home with it it's going to be really lovely and you can bring it out every year and you know or yeah whatever you like with it that's so that's um that's essentially that kit there. I'm liking that. I really am. I don't know why. I really like these simple. It's a really nice, simple design. I like it. Okay, let's move that across somewhere. Oh, where is I put it in a box? Now, I'm just going to double check. But no, there is no instruction sheets or anything in there. That would be something I personally would think needs to be 
added because there's so many loose components. If it was like my other one I did with the tree, all the components of the, the um, these dangly bits were already pre-thread, so it was no no harm, no foul, if you know what I mean. And it was, it was done differently on the string, not the chain, so it was a lot easier to do those, like this one, and it just connected straight on. Um, so, yeah, I think some more instructions, and I would show you the thumbnail, but it's got a little sticker on there. But all of the components look good and are there for this kit, so that will be awesome. Okay, putting that aside, let's check out what's in this bag because it's a nice little odd shaped bag. And I'm, I'm going to have to be really busy, aren't I? <laughs> Doing a lot of these Christmas ones. I hope I can get a lot of them done. I'm just going to open up, is it for me? I'm hoping to get as many as I can done between now and Christmas and bring them back um, to the channel. What have I got in here? Ooh. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes, I kind of forgot about these. Um, so much going on lately. So I'll grab these on... on Thought they were kind of cool looking. Now I've got a basic toolkit, no baggies or anything, so we'll just pop that over there. I have special drills once again. I got some rhinestones, beautiful and sparkly. We'll go through that and check them out. It's so cute. Okay, so I thought these would look um, rather cute as decorative pieces around. A home and you can put them in lots of little areas or just hang them on the Christmas tree or uh, the other little thing of some of the younger kids I thought they'd be fun to decorate and fill them with lollies or something for Christmas so you get three in the pack they're all separate designs on the actual little stockings and I believe there was this one and two other I think it was two other designs might have been three or well, might be three in total I can't remember but there is different uh, pictures on a couple of them so you can choose it might be more than that i can't remember but i know there was um there was multiple images to choose from oh they are so cute they're like little felty little things oh wow okay cool 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 okay um so you can see there just real quickly move the the three little designs aren't they beautiful They've got little snowflakes on them. I'm just noticing all the details. They're so cool. Now, these look like they are... Oh, I don't know what to call that stuff. Oh. All right, just, just jump back in here, guys. Um, Guess what? The postie just came. Yay. Uh, anyway. So, I have these three now. I'm just going to have a look at what these guys are made of and check out their size and stuff like that. So, you can sort of see um, they're not huge. They're only like a hand sort of size. You can put things in here. So, you could fill this up with, say, some lollies or lots and lots of things are coming into my mind. You can hang them. Oh, look, they've got a little thing there. So, you can hang them from the tree or hang on decorations around like a fireplace or something like that, you know, the traditional sort of things. But you could also use these um, as table decorations even, I suppose, and put like your napkins and all that sort of stuff. I don't know, there's lots of little things you could do with them because they're, they're quite handy little things. Now, so I've got like a felt, um, I suppose you call it type material. Feels like it's a bit stretchy. It would probably lose its shape if you mucked around with it too much. It has, uh, golly gosh, a nice little band here of green on one side. It's got nice sort of uh, sparkly stuff going on. I can't think, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I have this little snowflake and he's just attached with some glue on that corner there. And then, of course, I have this material. I'm trying to just show you what it is because I can't really explain it. It's, it's sort of like a acrylic leathery type stuff so it's quite firm um i'll just show and show you some of the back of it where it's not quite all stuck down and that's what our little fellows like santa and our snowman and all that are made of it is a bit flexible so it's not stiff but it's still um holding its shape well 
hope that explains as best I can anyway. Now you can see it's only like a partial drill. There's only a little bit here and there on Santa around his hat, around his jolly little belly and his sack of that there. You've got some rhinestones. So he's going to become quite rather sparkly little fellow. And as I said, you can definitely use these for different things um, and purposes. I have a snowman as well, which I think he's rather adorable. And he's got his little Christmas tree, so he's all ready for Christmas. Yay! Again, I have snowflake and so forth. And on the other design, I have a little reindeer. And you can just, you don't do his face, but we do have all this area here to drill. And it's looking pretty good. Like a little number system, nice easy field. It says fairly firm, but not like, it's hard to describe. It still is pliable to a little bit, you know what I mean? But I think, yeah, you'll find it easy enough to drill on. But I'll have a play with those as well and let you know how they work up and show you them. I think I'll have to do these as well. Ah, more things, more things. <laughs> I don't think these would be a lot, very big, like they're not a big project, but they'll be fun. You could even get the kids involved in this one. Uh, yeah, you know what? This would be even great um, for the kids to make up to give Nan and Pop and they could put like a little soap or something in that. So, you know, the older people that, you know, got everything, <laughs> maybe you can just put a, a, some little something like that in there and give it to them. It's quite cute and decorative. So, yeah, lots and lots of things are popping in my head that you could do with these simple little uh, stockings. Yes. So there's lots of ideas you could use for these stockings. You just gotta let your imagination go wild because you can literally fill them with anything you'd like, give them as a gift, hang them on the Christmas tree, decorate the home, decorate your dining um, table set up for Christmas for some of these with some napkins or something and, and the placements and stuff like that. And maybe you can just personalize it as a little extra gift they can, your guests could take home. So there's lots of great ideas coming into my head for these ones. I will show you the drills that we're going to put on here. Where will you go? Over there. Indecisive, wasn't I then? I was zipping around everywhere. Now, if I can actually open this. Oh. I'm <laughs> having a real crisis, aren't I? Okay, I'm getting there. This is why I you know, break it down to a couple of videos for things. Now I have six colours in total, and I'll just show you those. These are rhinestones. Ooh, there we go. These are the rhinestones. Yay. I'm getting there. Are you focusing? Focus. Ah. Okay, let's have a look at the rhinestones I have for this uh, kit. Some beautiful silver. I have some straight black. Beautiful Christmas reds, some beautiful bright yellow, some of the beautiful Christmassy green colours as well, and some uh, umber or brown. There we go. So that is pretty much it for the colours. There's not a lot. There's only six for those guys, but they all look pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with the, the look of the drills. They look nice and shiny and pretty. I hope that is coming up for you guys to see well. But they are sparkling nicely in the light here. So that is uh, essentially that little kit. So you get the three stockings in the kit, um, which is kind of cool. And as I said, there is different designs as well. If you like that one, and then there's a couple others as well. Alrighty, so that's essentially that kit. So it's essentially that one. So that's that kit I'll show you, show you, show you. Okay, let's pop that to the side. It's a really nice little feeling, little, like a nice felty. Here we go. This is the last one for this video. And it's a little bit bigger, so we're going to have to go back up, I think, for a little while. And then I'll probably come down for the details. So this is more of your traditional sort of looking size uh, diamond paintings. I snipped the end because I was cheating before when I had to stop the postman. 
So just your usual sort of packaging. So we're going to have a look at this one together. So let's check out what we've got. I found this hilarious. Oh my goodness, look at it. Wow, that's, that looks big. That's a really cool picture. So this is a 40 by 40. I thought this was hilarious. Um, it's not probably going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I thought it was, it was quite amusing having Santa riding a shark. There's also another one in this size, and he's got a unicorn, so you could check that one out as well. This is a full drill. It has 23 colours. It's a little bit away from your traditional sort of stuff, but I think some people like, you know, to have a bit of a, a have a funny, a fun sort of look on it as well. So I'm trying to just, uh, you know, bring across lots of different ideas and aspects and stuff of Christmas, and it's got to be fun. So this is a 40 by 40 canvas, I would say, not image, but it is a big image. It's nice, uh, simplified, so it's coming across really well. I'm really, I'm really liking how clear all the aspects of it is. You've got this really huge big shark in his big mouth and everything. A lot of colour blocking going on here and here in the body, so it will hopefully be a fairly quick uh, project which is probably good for me at the moment because I've got so many projects to do for Christmas but you could take your time is no you, you could use a multi-placer well with this one or as I said take your time enjoy the process it's all about how you like to diamond paint some people like to get the thrill of finishing projects some like to just you know just chill and you know sit down with a cuppa or, or, and, or just light a candle and just enjoy that atmosphere. So we'll be working on hopefully some of these projects I'm showing you today, at least one of those ones I'm hoping to show you from these videos. Now, uh, this one has a table up the top here and the bottom. So tables on top left, bottom right. And I have, yeah, I've got, one to eight numbers and then I've got just mixed capital letters for your symbols so that's pretty good there is a thumbnail up in this corner I think you don't really don't think you really need it I think it's a very clear image all your details at the top of the canvas and that is your table of your symbols and DMC codes as well so that is available on this one and I said you've got one there and one down on this side as well so that's that one I'm hoping it's not glaring too much I'll bring you down to have a look at the drilling field so just coming down really low I sort of it went a bit, bit wobbly then I said I just won't have you wobbling around too much now you can see here I'm going to bring back this plastic so it's not shining so you can just see um, the canvas and the glue and all that sort of stuff for what it is. It is sticky. You can see it's got a good um, a good cover. A bit of light areas, I suppose, but it looks like it's fairly good. All these, no, they're still sticky, so that's okay. Uh, these number ones in the black here. They're a, a negative, but they look a little faint, but you know, you can see what they are. The rest here in Santa's face and that the details will be interesting to see how that works up. But the actual symbols, are, <laughs> I have lost for words there. The symbols are looking really nice and clear. Look at these cues, very, very, very clear. So I like how they've used the negative as well print on some of these darker shades that is good and for the most part i think it's looking very clear very sticky because i'm sticking to the edge so there you go um you can sort of you can see the cover of glue on this one it's just your standard type of canvas but it's um it's sitting down pretty well actually table nice close-up of that that's really well printed as well 
And all in all, uh, the canvas itself is quite good, eh? Nice bright colours, lots of ink. It's going to be really, really good. Very effective, I think, once this one's all finished. As you can see, a lot of colour blocking. And this is one of those printed ones, not gridded. So it's taking the image and printing it on so you can see all the shape of his little teeth and stuff like that. And then the drills are sort of to shade. So that usually comes back as a, it's not so pixelated picture, if you know what I mean. That should come up pretty good. That means not ready. So I think this will sit under maybe some books or something for a little spell so I can flatten him out. But he is pretty groovy. Let's go back out. So that's that one. It is a good size canvas. We'll have a look through its drills. Oh, and of course I had a standard little um, tool kit with that one. I was sort of hiding under the drills. So I have this blue packaging for these drills. These are round. Where is the end? Ah. I hope everyone's um, going well with their plans for Christmas. And if you are travelling, please stay safe. It'll be good this year we'll be able to get out and do, I don't know, have a good family Christmas, I hope, for everybody this year. I really do. All right. Wow. I've, as expected, a lot of black. Wow. Okay, so I found the end of these very long strips. And if I can get this to focus on that, not that. There we go. So you've got this printed going on for your number one, etc. On here with the blue strip. This, this is the black, so I'll start there. Number one, always a good starting point. And I'll show you some drills. So round drills, and I've got three bags of black, and they are rather full for all that background. I have some shades of grey. Where did you go? There we go. Slightly darker and lighter greys. I have different reds. Now this is um, this is for Santa's coat. Nice and bright and Christmassy. Some more olivey greens and mustard colours, so forth. Then I'm going into some more blues, some nice sky blues. This is going on your shark. Some more deeper reds. But the drills look good, I must say. They're looking pretty pretty nice. Nothing really obvious going on. But you can't tell until you get them onto the dime painting as well, I don't think. But as you can see through the bags, they look nice and tidy and clean looking. And dark colours. Wow, this is an interesting sort of colour, isn't it? That's nearly for a fluorescent, nearly, nearly a fluorescent tangerine type of colour. It's very bright and vibrant. Oops. And then I've got some of these paler, you know, rosy pink sort of things and, and plums. So there we go, that's those. It gives me to number 17. Going on to 18, I have this light minty green. So we've got two of those. Then I have the light tans and so forth. More of this sort of, not so as fluorescent as the other one. Like those tangerine colours. Some beautiful bright blues and a few bright tans as well. So that's all the colours for this one. Standard round drills, they look pretty good in general. Oops. But yeah, they look really good, eh? Happy with that. Alrighty, let's put this one back into its um, packaging. 
No idea. So back into the packaging, it's not very good, but they are the round drills for that one. Let's have a look over everything we unboxed today. Of course, we just finished having a look at this very different Santa Christmas themed diamond painting. Let's just go out a little bit so we can actually see everything. So we just finished having a look at this one. This is the 40 by 40 full drill round uh, diamond painting. It's got that really nice big image uh, images there. So I think they're nice and clear and that's going to come up really well. The other um, items were a bit more in the DIY craft section and they have these beautiful little stockings here and they came with rhinestones, standard drill kits, tool kits I should say for everything, uh, with three very cool little characters on them. And again, there's always other designs if you'd like those. And I also uh, unboxed this pendant, which is the Christmas tree one, but I'll leave that in the box for you at the moment to show you. So that is basically a recap of the items sent to me free for review from DP Clubs. I hope you enjoy looking through these products with me. There's some really nice stuff there. Lots of different things, lots and lots of, um, if you like your traditional sort of diamond painting campuses, there is lots and lots of other traditional looking Christmas themed ones as well. So check them out. Lots and lots of crafts and pendants and other beautiful sparkly things to, um, you know, expand into your diamond painting world. So I hope you enjoyed looking at these products. There've been really, really good, interesting things coming through there. And I'm, I like all this different stuff. You can still have your craft of diamond painting, but you can just add to the variation just to mix it up a little bit. I think that's really fun. So I hope you enjoyed this Christmas themed unboxing from DP Clubs. I'll just take this opportunity to say thank you to everyone and I hope you have a great day. And thank you very much for DP Clubs sending these guys. Check them out in that description box for discount codes and links, all the stuff in the description box for you guys. So check that out. Until next time, I'll say be your life beautiful. This is Dale signing out. Have a wonderful day, guys. Stay well and be safe. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.